A portable battery burst into flames in the overhead bin of an aircraft, and within minutes, the plane is completely destroyed. Turns out, battery-related fires aboard aircraft are becoming uncomfortably common. Passengers were on a flight that was about to take off for Hong Kong when smoke started pouring from the overhead bin. A fire broke out, and that forced an emergency evacuation. The likely cause? A portable battery pack, one of many we've seen in recent years. This happened on an Air Busan flight preparing for departure in South Korea. Thankfully, the fire started while the plane was still on the ground, allowing all 169 passengers and seven crew members to evacuate using emergency slides. Seven people sustained minor injuries, but think about this. Had this happened at 35,000 feet, the outcome would have been far worse. This video is sponsored by Blazestack Fire Investigation Software. Blazestack is a fully featured fire investigation case management platform that arson and fire investigators rely on to log, document, and report fire investigations. Get a free trial at blazestack.com and request a quote using the discount code STASHED. Investigators believe the fire was caused by a portable power bank that became compressed inside the overhead bin. In response, Air Busan announced a new policy. Passengers can no longer store power banks in the overhead compartments. Instead, they have to keep those power banks on their person where they can monitor the situation. This is just one of many lithium-ion battery fires happening on airplanes, and the numbers are only getting worse. In 2023, there were 64 fires involving lithium-ion batteries on airplanes. I covered this in a previous video about a year ago, breaking down the most common causes and why the problem is only getting worse. I called this situation uncomfortably common, and I can already anticipate the comments. In 2024, there were about 1.4 fires per week. That's nothing compared to the millions of flights every year. And yeah, when you look at the numbers, it seems like a tiny fraction. The FAA tracks over 45,000 flights per day in the U.S. alone. Globally, there are around 100,000 flights per day, adding up to roughly 36.5 million flights per year. So with the 72 fires in 2024, and again, that's in the U.S., it seems statistically rare. But here's the problem. In aviation, it's not just about how often something happens. It's about what happens when it does. Mayday, 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 JetBlue 988. We have an electronic fire in the forward part of the cabin. We'd like to get down immediately. Aircraft fires are high-risk, high-consequence events. Even though most of these fires were contained, what if one breaks out mid-flight in the cargo hold, undetected until it's too late? That's a scenario where people don't walk away, and these incidents are increasing. In 2023, there were 64 fires. Now we're at 72, a 12.5% jump. If this trend continues, it's only a matter of time before we see a worst-case scenario play out. More flights means more batteries, more risks, and more opportunities for failure. Think about how many battery-powered devices might be on a single person. Cell phones, portable battery packs, laptops, tablets, headphones. Now multiply that by the number of people on the plane. A lot of opportunity for disaster. So sure, 1.4 fires per week might not sound like a crisis, but in aviation, one fire in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all it takes. Let's break down the numbers and look at what burned in 2024. For a second year in a row, battery packs were the leading cause of lithium-ion battery fires on aircraft, responsible for 17 incidents. Cell phones came in a close second with 16 fires, and interestingly, e-cigarettes took the third spot with 13 fires, edging out laptops, which accounted for 12 incidents. What's notable about e-cigarettes is they have been the number one cause for quite some time, and they've been dropping year over year. On the back end, rounding out the list, 14 other electronic devices caught on fire, things like headphones and cameras. The strangest item I saw in the report was actually a portable cooler that was being used to keep medication cold. But the most common cause of these fires? Passengers dropping their electronics into the seats and then crushing them while adjusting their seat position. This was a recurring theme throughout 2024, and it's a problem that isn't going away anytime soon. Out of the 72 battery fires on aircraft in 2024, 52 happened in flight, while 20 of them happened on the ground. But the most dangerous incidents weren't the ones the passengers saw in the cabin. They're the ones hidden in checked luggage. Multiple fires were only discovered when baggage handlers were loading and unloading the luggage. Thankfully, they all occurred on the ground. Had one of them ignited in mid-flight, the outcome it could have been catastrophic. The cargo hold does have fire suppression, but lithium-ion batteries, the fire spreads fast, and depending on the size of the battery, they can be incredibly difficult to contain once they ignite. 
Fortunately, flight attendants are trained and equipped to handle lithium-ion battery fires. Airlines have strict fire response protocols, and crews are taught how to identify, isolate, and suppress these fires before they spread. Most aircraft are stocked with fire containment bags, which are specifically designed to seal burning devices and prevent further damage. Flight attendants also have access to halon fire extinguishers, which are effective at knocking down the flames that aren't related to the battery burning, so the stuff in the luggage itself. So what do you think? Should airlines ban certain types of batteries from flights entirely, or do we just need better safety rules? Let me know in the comments below.